Okay, hey there. Hi. I'm here with um, Tim Jackson. Hi. Yeah. Um, now, Tim, what sort of influence has Quinn 69 had on the community? I've never heard of it. Um, what can you tell me about Quinn 69? Uh, I'm not sure I know anything about this. <laughs> right, um, so, but uh, Sharon, what can you tell us about online gaming? Well, I can't really, because um, I've never gone online. I don't really agree going online, and that's probably why. Uh, Quinton Crawford. Oh, yeah, yeah. He plays World of Warcraft? Okay, yep. Yeah. Um, what do you think about online gaming? Yeah, it's okay, eh? Cool, thank you very much for your time. Okay, sweet ass, brother. We're still here at the River Traders Market with the Mayor of Whanganui, Annette Main. Oh, We're asking you about our club is more or less a, a welcoming club that, that uh, respects a lot of people here. It's been a busy time for Quinn 69. His girlfriend Abby moved over from Scotland. He also finished building a house recently with a huge deck. We're going to see what else he's been up to and what he's got in store for the future. Now, Quinton's really moving on in his life. We've come back to Whanganui to see what he's up to, but first we've got to find him. Interrupting, am I? So, we haven't seen you guys for two years. What's the most significant thing that's happened? Well, <laughs> let's be real here. Um, I, I've got a, <laughs> I've got a girlfriend, yep. Abby, and um, we've actually finally, after much hardship, we've, we've right. finally built a house that mm. you guys are currently inside. Such a beautiful space. What's the best feature? Uh, the best feature of the house? I mean, I like the kitchen. The, no, it's, it's, <laughs> it's obviously it's the deck. Well, I'd say uh, Quila hardwood deck. One kilometer, okay, of straight linear wood. It naturally bleeds. I mean, it looks like a crime scene out there sometimes. Abby, how long have you been living in New Zealand for now? Uh, about over a year. So we got here the first of January last year, I came over here for a study year, um, and then since we've moved here, I've been streaming. Are you enjoying that? It's good. I've only done like, what, <laughs> like five streams or something since we've been here, um, but it's picking up. Uh, Keyboard, microphone. It's not as fancy as Quinn's, but it still, it still does the job. And then I've got the PS4, and then behind me is like a nice backdrop. I've just got this. Um, Kind of like Bohemian kind of tapestry. On the strings, I've basically got the kind of like uh, any donations I get when I'm streaming. I just I pick them up like that, and um, at the end of the month, I do like a nice wee giveaway for them. You seem a lot manlier since we saw you two years ago. Don't mean to brag or anything, uh, but I've been doing all the manly stuff now. Um, you know, we've got a lawn. It's a pretty big one. Uh, been out, bought a lawn mower, weed eater, been mowing the lawns. Got a series of uh, trees out the back. Two of them are dead. <laughs> <laughs> Dying, uh, we're, we're gonna sort them out. Yeah. It'll be fine. Everyone's thinking the same thing. How did you guys meet? Okay, so it's, um, <laughs> it's a bit of a long story. Uh, as you know, when, when you guys came here last, I've been gaming for, what, like a year straight? I'm, I'm streaming every single day for the next year, pretty much. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely no break. Anywhere up to like 10 to 15 hours a day. And I was going through like a bit of a, I don't know, a, a point in my life where I was like, this is, this is messed up. All I do is game. Uh, so what I decided, I was, I was going to get a girlfriend. The stream boys, they, they were basically like little, little minions that would go out and um, hunt down girls for me. Yeah. It's so predatory. Jesus. To a certain extent, the best thing I found was the uh, confirmed grills list. So I was... Basically, it's a list of people in my Twitch chat who were confirmed to be a female. And basically, what I would do is I'd um, confirm, you know, who was a girl via Snapchat. Yeah. So I'd get them to confirm. I used to stream Diablo before, and this is before I even knew who you were. Mm. Are we ready for this? Just listen. Just feel it. Got to, like, build it up a bit. And then at that point, I knew who you were, and it was, you were talking about that, that 
confirmed grow list. Mm. And I was like, well, this guy's kind of cute. I was like, maybe I should just send in a selfie. <laughs> was it a good selfie? The selfie, it was, it was a selfie. It was a good, it was a good selfie. Yeah. It, was a, it was a good selfie. Yeah. And I mean, I couldn't, you know, we got to talking mm -hmm. and then, you know, we started playing some games together. Here's the storm, is it not? We yeah, played was, some of that together. Uh, but, you know, next thing we knew it, she was on a plane coming over to visit. And um, I remember I had to tell my parents about that. Yeah. They were like, what the fuck? And uh, are yeah. you thinking? And I was like, you're just going to have to trust me. <laughs> it's like flying 37 hours. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. a big flight. It's a big flight. Yeah. What was it like meeting up physically after having such a long term online relationship? <laughs> I was like super nervous. So basically, on that kind of last like hour long flight, I was like, like, I was getting more and more nervous. Yeah. But then for some reason, when I saw you, I just wasn't nervous anymore. I mean, yeah, I was shitting myself this year. Yeah, I was like, I, I, I didn't show it, um, you know. Uh, but yeah, no, it was, it was all good. After we got to talking, it was just like, you know, online. We talked on mm. Skype and stuff before, and it was mm -hmm. just super chill. Yeah, I was worried. I, yeah. I didn't want to invite her over for too long, mm -hmm. just in case she was a complete psychopath, basically. <laughs> it was, it, it, either way, it could have been scary for her. It was scary for both of us, but it worked out. And then it mm -hmm. got to the point where, you know, when she was leaving, it was like, I didn't want her to go. I mean, I told a porcupine to my parents because I still lived at home in Scotland. I was like, Mum and Dad, I'm real sick. I don't think I can make this 37 hour flight. So what's the plan for the future? It's basically to just go big dick. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, anything's possible, eh? I mean, there's a bunch of new games I'm looking at streaming. Yep. Uh, mainly ARPG, MMOs, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, now that we've got a proper setup, there's no real limiting factors. This is where the magic happens, boys. This right here is my professional studio. All acoustically treated. Uh, that took you know, a long fucking time. Uh, but it, it makes a difference, you know. The sound is crisp. It's mint. We've set it all up so I can actually use... a standing desk, all right? The lights, everything, it's all attached. So you can see as it goes up. All the cords come up with it. I've got professional microphones now with a soundboard, studio monitoring headset. It still works after all the uh, destruction. So this bad boy right here is a UPS. This is an uninterruptible power supply. All right. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the computer. Look at that. It's still going. All right, if the power goes out. I'm still going. I'm still streaming. Yeah. There's no ceiling, really. The plan yeah. is just to go, just to go hard. <laughs> and say hi. Go shake his hand. <laughs> G'day, mate. Hello. <laughs> so, do you watch the stream? Yeah. You do? Oh, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> He probably played too many games and didn't do enough work. May not have got the uh, the credits that he should have for my class, but maybe it was time well spent all the same. <laughs>